a warm welcome to Kolobesi National Park. Today we thought we would be paddling in this area and show you some rock paintings. At the moment we're on the, on the shore, so close to Kirkovanta. We'll try to find a map later on for you. And uh, around the corner there should be a place called Uponvori that has the first set of rock paintings. And there should also be an amazing cave where they're actually located in or close to. So let's check out how that goes. and as you can see there are stairs leading all the way up to it and over here right in the cave is supposed to be the rock paintings that we're gonna check out so. okay. I've seen a, a couple of rock carvings that was uh, in Norway in Norwick but rock paintings not yet so whole new adventure for us. Very rocky here, so... A little bit slow. And once again, say good morning to my rubber boots. This time, summer version. Apparently, we can go down there and then also up here. So let's go maybe up first. Doesn't look like here's any paintings though. At least I cannot spot any. Let's see. I've been told that at least down there they're supposed to be the first ones of this island. Oh. Okay. Rock paintings of Okonbore Hill. Here we go. what we're supposed to see over here and that seems to be the live version of it I hope you can see it right over there okay so these look like people with absolutely no idea what they're looking at that's what they look like so I assumed since this is the sign that this is it that it does not resemble we are trying to find and it says here 10 meters above the surface of the water on the top left at the end of the terrace so I figured it must be this right over here camera in hand by the way it must be this one I don't know if you can see it maybe you just need the eyes of an artist to actually see what we're supposed to see but yeah So the sign wrote very nicely that it's on uh, top left. So of course I assume it's on the top left of the sign. But it was actually over here. Can you see it over here? Finally found a map here of Kolovesi for you to see as well. I'll go 
a little bit closer in. Uh, we came by car to a place called Kirkoranta. And now we're over here at Ukon Vuori, where we just saw the rock paintings. And now we're going inlay over here and trying to find out if we can go through here. If not, then it's going to be officially our first portage. Then we're going to go to the southern point over here of Vajasalo. And uh, if the wind isn't too bad, then we will try to make a little detour to Havuka Vuori, where there are also quite some rock paintings in the area. And after that we come back up here and trying to go back to Kirkoranta. Weather permitting, let's see what happens. Now we're just backing out of the teeny tiny harbor here in Ukonvuori. And as you can see, it's still holiday season. So lots of people have come to see the same place. We just discovered the Easter Bunny. Two little ears and the front paws and the nice face looking over the forest. Very cute. <laughs> Turns out we're seeing wildlife after all. I think this time for the first time we have done a really good job packing. So what we're having is our food bag. My backpack, Vesa's backpack, and two emergency bags in case we fall in, like we almost did last time. We did? <laughs> yeah, but we don't have it on video. <laughs> or maybe we just say that because we're ashamed to show it. <laughs> okay, lunch time. Back, including gluten free self made blueberry muffins, two each. Water bottle for you. Water bottle for me. Lunch for you. Yum yum. And lunch for me. Your lunch and my lunch. Dessert later on, and with that comes pure meat. And a knife. Okay, lunch is served. <laughs> yeah, but there might be some rain. There might be some rain, you're right. Forecast is promising about well just a thirty percent chance. Thirty percent? That's a lot. Hopefully we didn't just make a wrong turn again. The wrong turn. <laughs> or getting stuck like in the previous video. That's still missing. Out in the wide open lake and getting stuck on a sandbank. Oh my. We would have really outdone ourselves with that, wouldn't we? Oh yeah, mm. this time it won't happen. It's deep enough over here. Uh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Famous last words. Wow. Kind of takes your breath away. Mm -hmm. So 
very nice narrow patch coming up and it looks like at the end of it it's going to be our first portage and from what i see here i'm guessing it's going to be three meters long are we going to survive <laughs> i really hope so it's bony lots of stones yes I think we have to slow down already. Okay. There might be some surprises in the water. My guess is that it should be quite open. Hello? Yeah, open, but I don't know. Are there any stones coming up? So. The people before us are getting through, but they got the slimmer kayaks. Who's in there? <laughs> Somebody moving in the bushes. The water looks to be like 40 centimeters deep. No, it's less. Less? It's 20. Here it's more. But yeah. Hmm. Wouldn't be surprised if there are a couple of pike luring in the deep. Oh, there are some fish coming up. <laughs> How can you say that they are luring in the deep if they are in 20, 30 yes, centimeters? Yes, they're luring the in the shallows. <laughs> Oh, the swampy smell. Mmm, <laughs> mm, murky waters. Oh, look at you. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. Dragonfly, blue one. Oh. <laughs> my ears. I have like 10 centimeters of water to my left, so I'm paddling like this. This is definitely not very deep. Nope. Might have been the tightest place we've ever found ourselves in. Almost stuck again. I'll jump out. Just when we said five minutes ago we're not gonna get stuck on the lake. Well, yeah. turns out I was wrong. Better canoe would fit from here. Nope, it would not. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't eaten that much today. We fit. Yeah. Wow, and back out in the open. Help but notice a 10 centimeter little pike. Can you see it? Right in the middle of the frame. About to hide under the leaf. two swans whereas one is looking at us and the other one is sleeping <laughs> as its head is tucked into its feather
Yeah, the swans are looking at us, wondering what we're doing. Hello. <laughs> Best kind of animal encounter. Yes. They just, they notice you, but they don't care. They keep the distance so they don't get scared. Yes. Somebody drowning? Somebody drowning. Five meters back. There. Insect rescue operation once again. Another life saved. And one fish left on it. Yes. Be beautiful grass over there. How about this? It's good enough, right? You can reach. Oh, oh, oh you butterfly. Mm. Oh, I didn't see it. If you can see it, there is our little hitchhiker drying itself. Right over there. Okay, go and buck somebody else. Find somewhere else. <laughs> Butterflies around here seem to like our colors. And please, what's not to like? Are we fashionable or what? Mm -hmm. Beautiful big butterfly. Finland, uh, we call it Suruvaippa. This is the second one on the other hand. <laughs> one butterfly on each hand. One still flapping around. And the other one is waiting on my knee. Claudia got a friend too. Yes. They seem to like the color black for some reason. Is it warm or? It's warmer of course than the rest. Still there. Oh, it's still there. Surprisingly heavy. I can feel the feet through my shirt. Just wait until it, if it falls yeah, on your it hand. Tickling. Yeah, it starts tickling. Oh, <laughs> there it is. On my wedding ring. You're not gonna steal that. Oh my god, it does tickle. Ooh. There are three more behind you. Yep, there are two now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, both my hands. Okay, I got two on my both of my hands and one is on the camera. No, and you have three on you. And a fourth is on my arm. Yes. My both hands have currently one and one is on my arm. <laughs> Can you hold it over there a little bit? And this is what we look like when we're trying to put on rain gear. Yeah, I know I would have should have stretched more. Yeah, now clothing we would never wear for hiking. It's more like a... Is it rubber, right? It's rubber. Rubber is the material, so no kind of Gore-Tex, but pure rubber. So 0% of breathing, but 100% of water protection. So we like to wear this kind of clothes while paddling. It's awfully heavy, so I would never take it for hiking. Here we go. Very nice. Just managed to put on our rain gear and now apparently shower is starting. Oh my, this would have been a nasty surprise. That would have been a nasty surprise without rain gear. You're right. Rain gear. 
working. Rain zero, us one. Yes. Very promising. Besa is waiting down there, watching over the canoe. And it's a pretty difficult place to walk on, especially again once you have rubber boots and no real hiking shoes. Um, there's this beautiful rock wall over here. And then there was this kind of place here that has a little bit more a red surface and if we're looking a little bit higher over there you can see here in the middle an elk and there are two other um, drawings I don't know what they're supposed to be but I'll try to show it to you so maybe somebody has artistic eyes and can tell me what exactly they're seeing And the estimated age is about two to three thousand years old, if I've read correctly. So I'm here now in the same spot, except for I moved a little bit to the right. So here you can see the elk I've showed you before, and the other two drawings right over here. And now if we go a little bit to the side, Vesa is pointing at two more pictures. Um, they mentioned also on the webpage that it depends a lot on how the light is falling in. So right now it's very hard to, uh, to see, but what you're supposed to be seeing is, is a snake and a human being next to it. I have to admit I have a little bit of trouble seeing that myself, but in case you're wondering, here it is. Yeah, they were kind of faint, quite faint, but I would assume that you can... The elk you can notice and the line above it too, but everything else needs his brown glasses, otherwise the bare eye doesn't catch it. It's very hard to do it with bare, uh, bare eyes, but you can understand it, of course, they are thousands of years old. Mm -hmm. But yeah, not very easy to see, but if you are around here, definitely check them out. So here in the middle of the picture, you can see the slightly brownish uh, red rock formation, and this is where we just saw the drawings. And now we are going a little bit further to the other side where there are lots of loose rocks and there we should be able to find some more. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah, we should probably get it ashore now, we could still keep the boat there. If you're nice... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly this. Yeah. That one. It? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, I think I can even see something from here. Me too. I was just trying to take a picture of the drawings over there and I was attacked once again. Very, very vicious creature attacking your vest. Getting me? Eeny. Here we go, here we go. I've heard of this, but I've never seen this live before. And such a pretty one. Look at you. And the butterfly decided to change positions. <clears throat> <laughs> Little enhancement over here. I like accessories, you see. <laughs> so 
try to go and find some picture crams. Is it picture crams? I have no idea. Something like Pretty that. Pretty pictures on the wall. Pretty pictures on the wall. Let's check. A little bit more sports coming up, getting up there, but no problem. Let's see if we actually figured out the right place. And yes, we did. They are right over there. These ones are actually a lot clearer than the other ones. Looks like human shapes and I would assume elks. spot the grouse we just saw because it was sitting on the tree and it was moving and that's why I saw it but now that I'm standing in the canoe trying to film it now it seems invisible the feathers have this very nice spotted well gray and brown so unless it's moving it's impossible to discover it It's still warm and now it's already evening. <laughs> mm. Our shore lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 